बर्तमान आम सहित अच्छा एम डी आजिम उल दौलिया सिनियर प्रोग्राम मैनेजर क्वेस्ट एलियन्स और जदि मु कह हाविंग ओवर फिफ्टीन इयर्स अफ एक्सपीरियस एनहांसिंग लर्णिंग आउटकम्स एंड लर्णिंग एक्सपीरियस इन पब्लिक एजुकेशन हि फार्मली बिलिव दैट डेभलपमेंट एंड चेंज सुड बेनिफिट एव्री वन एंड डीपली कमिटेड टू द आईडिया अफ सिस्टम चेंज थैंक यू एव्री वन एंड दो आई अंडरस्टैंड ओडिया कम्प्लीटली सो मैम वाज स्पीकिंग एंड आई थिंक सर वाज ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग एंड आई कुड अंडरस्टैंड एवरी थिंग आई कम फ्रॉम बेंगाल सो दैट्स द एडवांटेज सो बंगाली ओडिया लाइक ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर सम पीपल से बट या इट्स आई स्टिल गैदरिंग माई करेज टू स्पीक इन ओडिया स्पेशली इन पब्लिक फोरम्स so but thank you thank you for inviting me and thank you uh, to argos news uh, prakash ji and uh, thank you all the fellow panelists as well and all the people who have come here i will definitely answer that but as ma'am started saying about uh, the condition of private school and condition of government school and there is always already a divide uh, that's there in my presentation i will also talk about divide digital divide as well uh, and uh, but but before i start and answer those questions it's first i think it's important to introduce yourself ma'am tried to introduce myself as well uh, and, uh, and and as i introduce and and then maybe i can also start talking about the uh, question as well and and also on the topic Uh, but i i am i am my name is azim azim ud daula and i come from calcutta uh, very much an odia now because i have been working in odisha for last 3 years and uh, with a passion to change transform education space to ensure that more and more girls particularly girls in odia uh, odisha uh, complete higher education because there was a data that was disturbing me that so many girls are dropping out of school before they complete secondary education so that's a mission that we wanted to take and and change uh, but but as i as i come i am not alone i also represent an organization which is called quest alliance uh, quest alliance is a non profit organization which is working across uh, multiple states uh, with uh, idea to drive change in the education and skilling space so we call it school to work continuum and how do we build critical 21st century skills among young people so that they continue their education uh, and they enter the job uh, with 21st century skills which is needed for work as well as life uh, we are present across multiple state as i say and work very closely with the government we have a partnership with government of india as well as we have mous with state as well and and odisha is one of our strategic state where we have been present in three in in the last three years uh some of the impact that we have already seen uh in odisha uh, over the i don't think the slides are changing but some of the odis impact that we have been seeing in odisha is that one question to directly answer the ma'am's question that private schools and government schools that's division one promising thing that we are seeing as part of the 5t intervention that is happening in odisha is that the odisha schools are changing and it's changing for good there is a lot of infrastructure development investment that has happened in the space of education uh, and and government has proactively contributed towards that and there is a significant number of civil society organizations people public alumni uh, who have contributed to this more school avijan uh, their money has gone also to the development of these schools so i think those are uh, those those efforts are bridging that gap between a private school and government school uh, in in odisha uh, before before i talk about the next topic maybe you can go to the slide where the context is written where we are living today in the world uh, the next slide actually next 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 yeah 
So the, con the world we are living today, uh, the schools we, our students are going. I may also also uh, take permission and also defer to some of the points made in the first session. Uh, I was I was thinking while I was hearing that that there is some differences that I want to also point out uh, that the st students who are st in schools today will not have the same kind of job that we have today. That's the reality. The jobs will change. Uh, and, and for that, how we are addressing it, how we are addressing the current learners. And, and, and we all know the access. When, when Sarva Siksha Aviyan came, the primary thing was access. The first challenge that we had was access. And after several years of work of many young people who are not so young now, uh, our seniors, they have worked significantly on those times. To, and, and after many years of contribution, this challenge of access was somehow we had solved it because we have school in every one kilometer, every three kilometer, every seven kilometer. But then when we started talking about quality and started solving the challenge of quality, COVID came. And COVID has created another kind of challenge. COVID has created another kind of challenge, another kind of challenge with the kind of access. And why I'm talking about COVID? Everyone is sitting with masks. No, not really, right? COVID is gone. But the, now we are living in a post-COVID era, so we can't forget COVID and the impact it has created. So COVID has created another kind of challenge of access because during COVID, we created another kind of new generation of learners, which Sir was also the sharing with all the data that so many learners on app, so many learn teachers are learning, so many students are accessing content online. So there is so many new generation learners using tech, learners who were students who were earlier considered as consumers are not consumers anymore. They have also become creators. We can see Instagram, YouTube, TikTok has gone, but they are creating content. And this demands a shift. This demands a shift in, in the way teaching and learning is happening. This demands a shift in, in bringing that possibility of how we talk about blend blended learning and create the possibilities uh, and, and, challenge, and mitigate those challenges of access now for those students who don't have, have access to this tech uh, or don't have access to, to classroom learning. So some people also say that you online and you will not have online in the school in the physical space. आने वाले समय में ये जो अभी तर्क है सरकारी स्कूल प्राइवेट स्कूल दिस विल नॉट बी देयर पीपल विल इन इन एनी वे हैव लर्निंग ऑनलाइन बट व्हाट वी आर प्रोपोजिंग इज दैट इट्स नॉट ऑनलाइन और इट्स ऑफलाइन इट हैज टू बी ब्लेंड एंड हाउ ब्लेंडेड लर्निंग इज हैपनिंग